In today's video, we'll be looking at attachable objects on mail. This feature has been recently added to Laravel and we'll be looking at how to implement it. With the help of attachable objects, we can simply pass the model and then the mailable class will automatically know what to attach to that mail. So let's get started. First of all, let us create a mail. So I'll say PHP artisan make mail testing mail markdown emails.test. It will create a testing mail class and then a blade template with this testing. First of all, let us go to this testing mail and we can see here this constructor envelope here we have subject the content and it is looking inside this emails slash testing dot blade dot php file the content and here is the attachments now let me go to the user model to show you how the attachable model works for that we need to have some kind of image or file attached to a model so let me show you that over here in the database i don't have any image or file that is attached to it but i can just add a property in the model let's say here public image equals to let's say i have one image over here in the public folder let me just show you that public images and logo.jpg and here i'll say images slash logo.jpg like this you can see here the logo is like this now whenever I called image on a user model then it will always return this. Now here in the documentation it says we need to implement this implements attachable. So here I have already implemented one and to implement another contract or interface I just have to write comma and write attachable and it is this one attachable over here. After we write this attachable we need to implement a method which is this and let me just go over here and implement this method over here and this attachment let me import it this illuminate mail attachment and here we need to pass the path of the file which is public path and this image like this whatever the image of that object is in my case it will always be logo.jpg so we have prepared our model to be attachable to a mail also let me show you that emails slash testing blade dot file here you can see the content this is just a default content now let me go to web.php and here in the home controller let me just return that mail over here just to see how does it look by the way we can just return the mail from here let's say new testing mail and it will actually return the rendered version of this mail now if i come here in the laravel dot test and return then you can see here it is showing me the mail how does it look like now let us try to attach that image to the mail if i just go over here in the testing mail you can see here attachments here i can pass a user model but for that we need to first pass the user through the constructor so here i'll say constructor property user and here we need to type hint user like this and here we need to pass the dollar user like this even i do it like this then also it will not show the attachment so let me just reload it and we cannot see the attachment in this preview for that we need to use some third party tool and in this video i'll be using mail trap and if you don't know about mail trap or how to send email using mail trap then you can watch a video tutorial that i have created i'll be leaving the link of that video just below that like button now in order to send the email I have to say here mail to and let me say info at laratips.test you can write whatever email you want because this is just a test email so i'll say send and let me just copy this thing from here and paste it over here and comment this out now i'll come here and refresh the page the mail has been sent and if you go here in the mail tab then you can see here testing mail and you can see the same email over here and on the top right corner you cannot see anything because i forgot to attach it so let me just go over here and pass that dollar this user over here since i have passed this user over here it will automatically check if the user has this interface this attachable interface attached to it or not if it is attached then it will look at 
the method that we have just added previously which is to mail attachment and it will look at it and automatically attach this file to that mail so again let me just go over here and refresh and now you should be able to see the file attached to it here and you can see this attachment one over here and if i click here then you can see logo.jpg which is the same file that we have attached and it is this logo.php so what do you think about this new syntax let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching have a great day bye